Hi guys, it's Winifred and I am back with my mini haul. And um, I got a few things from MAC and I got a few things from Beautylish. And I think what I'm going to start out with are the items that I got from MAC. And I am wearing those items. Um, prior to doing this video, I did a tutorial using my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and that's uh, the pinky tones. So I put on the Rihanna uh, Viva Glam guys and that matches perfectly with that eye. So um, yeah, you gotta look right there. Um, so I got the Viva Glam too. And let me show you the lipstick. And to me it comes across as a gray taupey brown and here is a swatch of it right here and that's just the lipstick now to me the lipstick on its own is just uneventful um, it's not a bad color but it's a color that you can probably pass on it's not something that you absolutely have to have I don't think um but I am so glad that in conjunction with that lipstick, I actually purchased the gloss. Now usually guys, at least it's been my finding, <laughs> that when you have the pairing, it's usually the lipstick that makes the pairing and sometimes you can do without the gloss. Well, this um, Rihanna pairing to me is the exact opposite. I like the gloss better than the lipstick so definitely if you're going to get the lipstick you definitely want to get the gloss with it and let me show you why first of all look at that it's a beautiful kind of um, pink it's got that little bit of taupe in there and it's got it's loaded with shimmer and this is how it swatches so when it swatches it actually comes across as being this nice shimmery pink concoction and then when you put it on your lips this is what you get now I dipped it out guys because I don't want to contaminate this color because I will probably use this on top of other lipsticks so I didn't want to get the uh, lipstick in there I just used I just dipped some of it out and used one of these little cheapy disposable wands or you can use your lip brush and just patted it on because I do not want to contaminate this color so that that's all of the items that I got from Mac those two items being good guys I am being really good and then from Beautylish what I got I got a couple of items from Beautylish guys and the first two items that I got are um, got the two large Z palettes. You might remember me telling you that um, I was watching a Tiffany D video and she actually depotted uh, her NARS eyeshadows. So I th thought I would give that a try because I cannot stand the NARS eyeshadow packaging yes it looks sleek but if you've had those shadows for a while and they start clanking together and and they're just oh I just don't that rubberized it just doesn't wear well so I am going to try my hand at depotting them and putting them in here and then that way I think I would use those uh, eyeshadows a lot more because I'd be able to see them all. So I want to make my collection a little more functional, guys. I got these two. Then I also got, because I hear so many uh, makeup artists talk about this Amber Lease um, cream. Now it comes in different formulations. I got the smallest tube. And this one I, I got because it's supposed to be like a three-in-one type of thing. Um, 
you're supposed to be able to use this not only as a good moisturizer, but you also can use this as a primer and also a makeup remover. So, I mean, this tube costs like $16, but um, it's, it's supposed to be able to, you're supposed to be able to use it um, three different ways. So, I'm going to use it and then report it back to you all how I liked it. And, yeah. And if I do like it, then that's going to be something else that I'm going to add to my stash. Because I hear, especially over in the UK, a lot of the makeup artists there swear by this stuff, okay? Um, and then I got a couple of eyeshadows from Sugar Peel. I never use Sugar Peel. And I hear that they're supposed to be so um, pigmented and um, you know relatively inexpensive in price for what you're getting and the first color that I got is from the cold chemistry collection this cute little box and it is in the color subterranean and cute little packaging this I don't know what it is guys I'm into the greens and blues and this is subterranean. Let me just swatch it for you. Oh, psh, look at that pigmentation. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Oh, Malacca. Hold on. I got Malacca right here. Shut up. Okay. This is this is NARS Malacca, guys. Let me do a quick swatch. Now, yeah. well. Well, it's close enough. This one being Malacca, this one being uh, the Sugar Peel Subterranean, which is a little bit more green, and the Malacca is a little darker. But in a pinch, guys, <laughs> if you don't want to get the Malacca, you can always get the Subterranean. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Let me just swatch it on my... Oh, guys, come on now. That is pretty. Okay, so I got that. That's subterranean. And then I got another one. Cute little packaging here. What is the name of this? I don't know. Uh, Moochie? Moochie? Okay, this is more of a vibrant green. And it's a, a matte green. Kind of like along the mint color. I like that. Oh, that's pretty, guys. That's really pretty. It is a matte. That's pretty. Okay, so I can't wait to work with those. And, guys, that is it for my little haul just those few little items and as you recall I am trying to make everything that I have a little more functional that was the point of me getting the um, Z palettes so that I could try to depart my depart my NARS eyeshadows and that way I could get more use out of them just make it more functional um, and I can see everything and then that way I could just mix so many more things and use my eyeshadows with existing palettes and use them in different ways that I hadn't thought about. That's what I think, you know, making your collection a little more functional is. You have to have it so that you can see everything and then get that creative mind working and then you figure, oh, I can match this with that, I can pair this with that beautiful then you really want to wear your makeup and you want to play in it and then you won't be sitting there like oh my god I got so many of these black little pots I don't even feel like digging through them to find the color that I want so um yeah more on that later that's it guys that's all I have um don't forget to like if you did like I thank you for watching Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm loving all your comments. Thanks, guys.
Have a great day. Bye-bye.